Among each species of animals, there are record holders who have surpassed their relatives with incredible sizes. In this issue we will just look at such animals that have broken all records, you will see the largest dog, the largest cow, a frog whose weight is 6 kilograms, and even a long-lived turtle weighing 400 kilograms and 400 years old, it will not be boring, so you can immediately like it. And we begin. Passersby call this animal anything, a cat, a dog, a hamster, but few people know that this is a guinea pig and this is Melanie Topaldo's pet. Another name for this animal is capybara, and they are the largest among modern rodents. The habitat of guinea pigs is the forests of South America, but the animal also feels very confident in Texas. The pig has its own house for entertainment, a lawn with fresh grass and a huge pool, in general, all the conditions for life. The owner of the pig first met these cute creatures during a trip to Venezuela. Her daughter Coral picked up a guinea pig and fell in love with this animal forever. After returning home, they began to look for stores that sell rare animals. They ended up buying an 11-day-old guinea pig from an exotic animal farm in Texas. Imagine their surprise when the animal grew to such a size, breaking all records. This pet can be safely included in the list of the most unusual pets. Looking at a photograph of an African Watusi, the thought immediately comes that this is the work of some Photoshop master, but no, these horns are absolutely real, moreover, these cows are carriers of the thickest horns in the world from the entire animal planet, and such exotic can be easily found on expanses of the African continent. But it's terribly hard and uncomfortable to live with such horns, although they are hollow inside, but the weight of one horn can reach 40 to 50 kilograms, why did nature create such bizarre creatures? It turns out that not everything is so simple and these horns perform an important function in the body of the Watusi. The horns of African Watusi are pierced by a dense network of blood vessels and are involved in the process of thermoregulation of the animal. During the debilitating African heat, a body covered with wool practically does not radiate excess heat, but the horns, devoid of hair and having a large area, are an excellent cooler for the body. The blood, having cooled in long ventilated horns, flows back into the body of the animal, lowering the overall temperature of the body. It turns out that Watusi horns are not so hard and uncomfortable when it comes to saving you from heatstroke. Great Dane Freddy, like the famous dog Zeus of the same breed, also deserved a place in the Book of Records due to its size. The height of the dog when the dog stands on its hind legs is 2 meters and 30 centimeters. When the owner of the dog, Claire Stoneman, acquired a puppy, she could not even imagine that such a giant could grow out of a small dog. Dog Freddy has become a real giant. He is considered the tallest dog in the world. He got into the Guinness Book of Records when he was two years old, this handsome man weighs 92 kilograms. Thanks to such popularity of the dog, Claire and Freddy are constantly invited to various programs and shows. The owner of a big four-headed friend says that her pet is friendly and calm. Freddy doesn't really like to walk, he prefers to lie on the couch. One hour is enough for a dog to walk. But this hero loves to eat very much. Claire spends about $16,000 a month on food for Freddy. So that Freddy would not be bored, the woman bought another Great Dane. But this dog didn't grow that big. Now Freddy has a tailed friend and the dogs play together in the yard. A cat named Omar is the longest cat in the world. When Australian Stephanie Hurst adopted a Maine Coon kitten, she could not imagine that this fluffy animal would grow into the longest cat in the world. Of course, cats of this breed are famous for their long physique and massiveness, but Omar namely, as Stephanie named her new pet, grew by leaps and bounds. They decided to measure the length of Omar when he became the size of a dog. It turned out that from the nose to the end of the body, Without the tail, the length of the cat is 119 centimeters. After checking the measurements, representatives of the Guinness Book of Records admitted that Omar is currently the longest cat in the world, ahead of the previous record holder by one centimeter. By the way, Omar is also distinguished by its weight, which is 14 kilograms. But Omar became truly famous quite recently, when, together with the hostess, he started his own Instagram, where he regularly posts photos. Despite its impressive size,
This Maine Coon is a big good-natured man who loves to eat delicious food, sleep well and spend time with his family. The previous record holder was a cat named Ludo of the same breed. This cat is originally from England, from the city of Wakefield. The American cow is recognized as the tallest member of its species in the world. Experts from the Guinness Book of Records have officially awarded the U.S. cow named Blossom the status of the tallest cow in the world. The height of Blossom at the Withers was about 193 centimeters. Unfortunately, the champion cow died not so long ago at the age of 13, her weight was about 910 kilograms. The owner of the cowboy Patty Hansen says that even as a calf, the animal was already the size of an adult cow. It is worth noting that the previous record holder was a cow, whose height was 188 meters, and this record lasted more than 10 years, until Blossom grew to its record size. By the way, the biggest bull is a bull named Nickers, his height is almost 2 meters, and he was discussed in one of the previous videos. The largest frog is the Goliath frog, it is considered the largest tailless amphibian in the world. Recently, the population of these creatures has been rapidly declining, so it is possible that in the future these frogs may completely disappear. The Goliath frog lives mainly on the coasts of tropical rivers in the very depths of the jungle of southwestern Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. Most often they can be seen near waterfalls. An interesting fact is that, unlike other frogs that love swamps, goliaths, on the contrary, prefer clean water. Goliath frogs are very alert and fearful. They have excellent hearing and vision, thanks to which they are able to see at a distance of 40 to 50 meters. At the slightest danger, giant frogs make a sharp jump under the water. For this reason, it is very difficult to approach them, and even more so to catch them. Just imagine, an adult reaches a length of 90 centimeters, and the weight of a goliath frog ranges from 3 to 6 kilograms. Females are slightly larger than males, and the average life expectancy of these amphibians is about 15 years. The largest land tortoises live in the Galapagos Islands and are an endangered species. All subspecies of the elephant tortoise are listed in the Red Book as endangered. These turtles can reach over 400 kilograms and lengths over 1. 8 meters. Surprisingly, babies that have just been born weigh no more than 70 to 80 grams. With a lifespan of over 100 years in the wild, Galapagos tortoises are among the longest-lived vertebrates. In captivity, captured individuals can live for more than 170 years. Once upon a time, distant islands that man had not yet reached were a paradise for turtles, but as often happens, with the advent of man, the situation began to change, and the population of turtles is rapidly declining. When in 1535 the Spanish navigators reached these islands, they simply abounded with huge turtles. And at that time, seafarers, pirates and other sea people were of particular interest to live turtles, the fact is that they were excellent live canned food for them, which could live in the holds of ships for up to six months and do without food. Then, from 1832, Humans began to populate these small patches of land, and such a neighborhood also did not benefit the turtles. Charles Darwin visited here in 1835. He took one Galapagos tortoise, which he then transferred to the maintenance of the English zoo. They named her Henrietta. Then her home was the Steve Irwin Zoo in Australia. In 2005, her 175th birthday was celebrated, and in November 2006 she died of old age, by the way, this is the official version, but in fact this is only the middle of the life cycle of this species. Under natural conditions on their native islands, these turtles live much longer and have no enemies in the animal kingdom. This is confirmed by two turtles from the Cairo Zoo, where in 2006 a Galapagos tortoise named Samira died. Her age was estimated at 315 years. Prior to that, in 1992, her husband also died there who was a little short of 400 years old. Thank you friends for watching to the end, write your comments, which animal from this video surprised you the most, and we went to prepare a new video for you.